You know, people often think bug bounty is some easy side hustle. Like you sign up on a platform, run a few tools, find a bug, get paid, flex a screenshot. Simple as that. But that's not how this thing works. Finding a valid, impactful bug, that takes time and skill. And honestly, a lot of patience. Most folks start with this idea that tools will do the work for them. Like, I'll just run this one-liner and the bugs will magically fall into my lap. Tools are good, they make your workflow faster, but only if you know what you're doing. If you're blindly running scripts just hoping something interesting pops up, you're not hunting. You're just spamming requests and calling it effort. And the platforms? They've seen it all. Triagers have seen every nuclei template and fuff wordless known to man. You really think you're the only one hitting that endpoint? And then there's the basics, or the lack of them. Some people don't even know how HTTP works. They don't understand how a cookie is stored, how a session is maintained, or what course headers mean. And they're already diving into bug bounty? Look, I don't mean to gatekeep, but this isn't a guessing game. If you don't understand the foundation, how are you going to find flaws in it? Then there's this whole hype around bug bounty on social media. You scroll through Twitter or Reddit, and all you see are people flaunting their payouts like it's a lottery win. But what you don't see are the weeks or months of silence, the reports marked informative or won't fix, or the countless duplicates that get no reward. The reality is, most bug hunters grind for a long time before they see anything. And even if you're lucky enough to earn early on, let's say you hit a 500 or 1000 bounty in your first few weeks, it can mess with your head. You start thinking you've got it all figured out, but then suddenly, nothing works. You hit a dry spell, no valid reports, and because your skills weren't built up from the ground, you can't recover. That's how people burn out. Also, Real-world bug bounty is nothing like CTFS. I say that as someone who enjoys both. CTFs are controlled environments. You're told what to look for. Buffer overflow, SQLE, XXE. The flag is sitting there, waiting to be found. Bug bounty? It's the Wild West. You have no idea what's vulnerable, what tech stack you're dealing with, or even if the target is quietly patched. You're looking for logic bugs buried inside business flows that weren't designed to be broken. And trust me, that takes way more than just tool usage. This is where recon comes in. People underestimate recon. They think it's just subdomains and port scans. But real recon? It's deep. It's understanding the surface area of a company. Endpoints, legacy systems, forgotten features, third-party integrations. And once you find something juicy, it all comes down to impact. Because if you can't explain why your bug matters, how it could be abused, what it could lead to, your report won't get paid. Simple as that. All of this takes time, real time. You can't shortcut it. You'll spend weeks learning one concept only to realize it's connected to five others. You'll write a report that gets rejected. You'll feel like you're wasting your time, but that's just part of the journey. Tools are your friends. But they're not magic. Understand what they do, why they work, customize them, use them smartly. Otherwise, you're just another noisy scanner on the network. And if you're serious about starting the right way, not just jumping in and getting discouraged, I've put together a beginner cybersecurity guide. It's made to give you that solid base, not a money-making shortcut, but something to help you actually understand the game you're trying to play. If you're not into that, I've also left some good free resources in the description. Pick one, start slow, and learn properly. That's all I'll say.